All right, what's going on, dudes? It is Colossalus back with some more Batman The Telltale series. We're gonna jump straight back in if you're missing any information about the previous episodes. Watch them because they're awesome. So let's go. Cafe 33, yeah. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey, and I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. What happened to her? I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Oh, shit. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. Selena Kyle. The cut woman. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. What happened? I was mugged. You were? I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. <laughs> it's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken it. I like the the that playful um, conversation We've between two it. people that know each other, Do but you? the third person doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. You serious? Catwoman. The Battle of Stairs. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. 
How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? <laughs> The playful talk. You have something that belongs to me. I do? I want it back. I don't think so. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. <laughs> you owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. Huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry. I'm a solo act. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. Then you don't get the drive. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. <laughs> when are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Enough is enough. Like, her talking back at me is not that. Don't screw it up. Just making illusions is just stupid. Wait. Alfred. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. On guard. <laughs> Holy shit. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Right. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Scorch marks. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay. So we already got that, we already got that. Can we move around or...? What 
whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Okay, so I can link together facts to um, try to figure out the what happened. That's pretty cool. Before. I like that. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Okay, these are the same guys that broke into City Hall. Yeah, I, I fought these guys. Sh shipping container door. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Let's see. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Whoa. Okay, I can't get in there. It's just pretty weird. What's this? Pallets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. How did he end up up there? No. That bad? Yep, right through the head. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. <laughs> God. God damn, Alfred. Skylight Club. Burned. He's burned. Could that be the chemical? This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Oh, God damn. Whoa, that's crazy as fuck. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Yeah, man. Causing the aforementioned boom. God damn. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Okay, so I have to now link stuff together in order to get a nice whole story. Or can I just get the fuck out of here? Oh, I can. So, unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Yeah, after because you can see that, like this ends in like a rectangle thing. Okay, so I have to continue linking this stuff. Carnister. Mm. 
with the incendiary bullet. That's definitely the same one. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Exactly. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay, so that, that's a connection. The ripped off. Oh, okay. Shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Yeah. Have you put it together? Yes. That's pretty cool. I like this kind of like detective kind Don't of call stuff. Me leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent, a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. But I got bullet in his yeah his head. down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Yeah. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. I see. Have you located the shooter. No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Try this one. Not a bad angle. No trace of phosphorus, though. So it must be the last one. There we go. There he is. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Okay, I see. So he shot from here and then... Oh, there's, there's even a cigarette. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Through the window, right? Through the window, didn't he? Okay. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. He fell? Time to go to work. Hello. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. Yes, you are. You just don't know it yet. Scare a confession out of me? 
I won't break. Your bones will. Let's go to work. <laughs> oh, that pipe, though. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. Tell me. That Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. Okay. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals, there's some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I don't want to talk to him. Like they would, they would think I am the person who did this. He tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bad man. Sure. Yeah, always about me. Always the bad man. Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat. But you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I didn't touch him. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Got him. Uh, we got data. Well, back into the fray again. Codex, someone gives a fuck. Right, I don't give a shit about that. There we go. First com computer. Like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... 
more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Probably Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This... this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. Don't question it, just publish it. I'm a reporter. Questions go with the territory. But <sighs> thank you. Seriously. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. Um, I always think I don't know about that. Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Batman's a symbol of hope. And that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just... A monster of the week. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Exactly, that's, that's what I was Public thinking. Attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh shit, it's about to go down, bruh. I'm sorry about that, I had to mute myself just because my roommate Oh, my flatmate decided it's time to fucking hoover right now, right when I'm recording. 
Oh, look at that drift. Master drift. Right, we're gonna finish it here right before the big game happens. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, again, leave that like rating. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. It looks like the next episode is gonna be crazy. By the way, I will be jumping onto stream pretty much in like half an, half an hour or something. There's gonna be quite a lot of people there. I'm expecting a lot of people there. We're gonna be doing some Hero League and stuff, so if you're interested, interested in any Heroes of the Storm or any streams at all, uh, come and check mine out. I interact with a lot of my viewers. I basically treat you guys like friends. You guys are my friends. You come there, you, you express your opinions, you, we talk, we laugh, and we just have a great time. So I'll see you there, and if not, I'll just see you in the next one.